Welcome! Today we'll be going through a problem suggested by a viewer. Solve for non-negative integers a, b and c. a squared is equal to 2 multiplied by b plus c and a to the power of 5 minus b to the power of 5 minus c to the power of 5 is equal to 30 abc. Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one. Since 30 ABC is greater or equal to zero because A, B and C are non-negative, A to the power of five minus B to the power of five minus C to the power of five is also greater or equal to zero since A to the power of five minus B to the power of five minus C to the power of five is equal to 30 ABC. How can you expand on this idea? Hint number two. Following on from hint number one, we can get A is greater or equal to B and A is greater or equal to C. How can you apply this to the first equation A squared equal to 2 multiplied by B plus C? Hint number three. If we add A is greater or equal to B and A is greater or equal to C together, we get 2A is greater or equal to b plus c. Try applying this to the first equation, a squared equal to two multiplied by b plus c. For which values of a will both conditions be satisfied? Solution. We will begin by noticing that since 30 abc is non-negative, a to the power of five minus b to the power of five minus c to the power of five is also non-negative, so greater or equal to zero, since 30 ABC is equal to A to the power of 5 minus B to the power of 5 minus C to the power of 5. This implies that A to the power of 5 is greater or equal to B to the power of 5 and A to the power of 5 is greater or equal to C to the power of 5 or alternatively A is greater or equal to B and A is greater or equal to C. If we add the two inequalities together we get 2A is greater or equal to B plus C or 4a is greater or equal to 2 multiplied by b plus c. If we compare this to a squared is equal to 2 multiplied by b plus c, we see that a squared is less than or equal to 4a. And since a is non-negative, 0 is less than or equal to a, which is less than or equal to 4. And since a is an integer, a is 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. Now we can reduce the number of possibilities for a by noticing that the right hand side of a squared is equal to 2 multiplied by b plus c is even. So a squared must also be even. So a is 0, 2 or 4. If a is 0, then b is equal to c is equal to 0 must be true for a squared to be equal to 2 multiplied by b plus c. And this also holds for the second equation, because 0 minus 0 minus 0 is equal to 30 minus 0 minus 0 minus 0. If a is equal to 2, then for a squared to be equal to 2 multiplied by b plus c, b must be equal to c must be equal to 1, or bc is equal to 0, 2, or 2, 0. However, b equal to c equal to 1 does not satisfy the second equation, but b, c equal to 0, 2 and 2, 0 do satisfy a to the power of 5 minus b to the power of 5 minus c to the power of 5 equal to 30 abc. So those two are possible solutions. Finally, we will look at a to the power of 4. Now, if we look back at our conditions, a squared equal to 2 multiplied by b plus c less than or equal to 4a and a greater or equal to b and a greater or equal to c, we see that a equal to 4 is the equality case, and so a equals b equals c equals 4. However, we can see that a equal to b equal to c equal to 4 does not hold for a to the power of 5 minus b to the power of 5 minus c to the power of 5 equal to 30 abc, since the left-hand side will be negative, and so cannot be a solution. 
Hence, the three solutions for ABC are 000, 202 or 220. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below and see you next time.